Hi peeps, how you all doing? So my mum's just rung me to say, Martin, all the meetings are cancelled. All the magazine cart work is cancelled. We're on lockdown. But not the same lockdown as Italy. But are the faithful and discreet slave following the advice of the World Health Organization? Or have they had a Wednesday secret meeting and Jehovah has whispered into their ear, get yourselves ready. Get yourselves ready because... Uh, it's near. Well, it's a difficult one, that, isn't it? They may have just taken the advice of uh, the World Health and Organ Organization on this occasion and uh, decided that uh, they need to implement the same changes as everybody else. But my mum, you know, only sort of 10 minutes ago, just rang me and said uh, that apparently the faith and discreet slave had issued a letter now, I can only speak for the congregation that my mom is associated with, but I am presuming that if the faithful and discreet slave have drafted a letter, and for that letter then to be sent to the appropriate brothers of the regional offices of Jehovah's Witnesses around the world, I can only presume that this is a worldwide um, action and not a single action for just one congregation. So let's presume that this is a worldwide action. Then that letter then was read out and that letter then addresses the current coronavirus situation and what the Jehovah's Witnesses must do to keep themselves safe. Now, what was apparent to me after the conversation with my mother is the amount of people that are self-isolating within the Kingdom Halls. Because I said to her, I said, well, the, uh, the banning is only for large scale groups. I says, your kingdom halls, they don't get 500 people in. You know, they get 90 to 100, maybe 150, something like that. So why are you doing all this? And um, I think my mum said, it's because we've had that many people off sick with probably normal illnesses and they've just self-isolated themselves. And so the governing body have picked up on this and decided that uh, about time that they did call to arms and some kind of action on their behalf to show that uh, they're complying with, I guess, man-made rules. Or are they complying with our heavenly direction given to them on that Wednesday during the secret meetings that they profess to have? Right, I'm throwing this one open to you guys. It's up to you now to tell me what you think. Is this just the Jehovah's Witnesses following protocol regarding the WHO orders? Or do you think maybe they are getting themselves ready for the crash? Yeah, I tried to whisper that then, crash. I didn't want to blurt it out. It's a scary, scary thought, isn't it? That we are so close, so close to the crash or the great tribulation. For 50 years, some of us have been in fear of this day. And when it will come, what havoc it will wreak. Could it be nearer than we think? Certainly, this is unprecedented action, isn't it? You've not known about this kind of um, fortitude and this kind of forward thinking from the Jehovah's Witnesses, have you? In uh, the time that you've known about that religion? I must say, this is a first for me. I've never known a letter to go around and be read out. So effectively, this video is the Jehovah's Witness religion is on lockdown. No preaching. No magazine cart work, no meeting, gatherings. Food for thought, people. Food for thought. I'll leave it with you. Thank you.